Early morning clouds are gathering in the mountains of Gran Canaria. And strange structures will capture their water. Saul Oliva is an environmental technician with the Life Nieblas project. He's showing a trainee the principle based on nature's model. Lichen can extract moisture from the air. They suck it up like a sponge. The unusual structures take advantage of a common phenomenon on the north side of Spain's Canary Islands. Clouds move in from the Atlantic and stall on the mountainsides. Saul Oliva and his colleagues have set up fog collectors, cloud catchers. They soak up valuable water in the same way that lichens do. The wind pushes the fog into these fine meshed nets. Tiny water droplets condense and grow into bigger drops, which then fall into the collector and flow into the tanks. They've collected 90,000 liters of water over two years. Water is scarce on Gran Canaria. The reservoirs are running dry. The arid conditions are making wildfires more frequent. In 2019, the island was hit by a devastating fire. 10,000 hectares of forest burned down. 9,000 people had to be evacuated. It's a vicious circle. The lack of water means there's less healthy forest, and everything dries up. This in turn means more fuel for the fires. So they reforest, planting tree species that should make the forest more resilient, and they also use water from the cloud catchers. We want laurel forests to grow here that will work like natural fog catchers. The trees take the water from the clouds and pass it into the ground. That could be the future of the islands. For now, though, the present is dominated by agriculture. Economically, the canaries depend on banana crops, but each tree needs 20 liters of water a day. Juan Ramon Sosa works a plantation in the north of Gran Canaria. He's worried about water because rain is becoming ever more scarce. It rains here in cycles, every seven to eight years, without much in between. Reserves from a big rainfall only last for one or two years, so for the rest of the time, we have to find another way. Seawater is one option, but treating it is expensive. Ivan Cabrera, a desalination technician, is visiting. We have to filter out the salt that's dissolved in the seawater. It's a complex chemical process that uses a lot of energy. Could large-scale fields of fog catchers in the mountains be a solution? Sal Oliva trusts in the research. His project is working on new ways of capturing moisture from the clouds. They expect this metal grid to be much more efficient than the plastic mesh they've been using. Using a sustainable and natural resource like fog could be a good solution. We could water our tree seedlings with it, and a farmer could use the water on the plantation. For that to work, though, clouds will have to continue to gather here on the mountainsides. If weather patterns change, cloud catchers might also fall victim to climate change. <laughs>